official provincial official funeral is underway in Johannesburg. The service has been attended by family, friends and his comrades. Farewell to struggle veteran Indres Naidu. Naidu was one of the first MK operatives to go into action in the 1960s. Naidu died three days into the new year and he was 79. His family and comrades paid tribute to Naidu. He was accorded a special provincial funeral. Indres' story and the legacies he leaves provide us with many lessons to draw from, which are pertinent to today's struggle for social justice and equality. From about 1886, for the next 70 years, the political tradition of the family was one of passive resistance. The term passive resistance is a bit of a misnomer because there was nothing passive about it. It was active, militant, brave, courageous resistance to a series of unjust laws, resistance characterized by non-violence. Indres' father, Roy Narn Sami Naidu, aligned himself strongly to the use of Dajan Rupi in the Indian Congresses, a bloc that was youthful in nature, militant and committed to working with Africans. Roy set the foundation for the political ideology of the family, and that was that the struggle against oppression of the Indian people was integrally linked to the struggle of the African people. The cornerstone of ideology of the Naidu family, the Naidu Pillay family, was non-racialism and the liberation of the African people. The SACP was greatly saddened when it received the news of the passing away of Comrade Ingris on Sunday the 3rd of January. We wish to say to the family, much as he was closest to you, but your loss is also our loss as a movement. I met Comrade Ingris for the first time after having been elected to the Central Committee of the SAC in 1991 when he was working full time at head office. I must say, one of the things that struck me personally is that he was so simple and unassuming and very modest. It was not until when one started engaging him around his own story that you realize that this is a true giant but very simple. And these are values we need in abundance today. Although Comrade Indris had been thrown through all the four corners of the world in pursuit of a struggle to free his people, his life ended on the soil of the city and the province where he started. It is both an honor and a privilege that this city of Johannesburg and this province should be the one that bids farewell to a favorite son he accepted into the world in August 1936. Flags in Gauteng were flown at half-mast when Naidu was buried. President Jacob Zuma has defended his...